Okay, so two points that I would like to cover. <sighs> One is the fact that a lot of people right now are trying to find money just so that we can get by. Um, what is it? <clears throat> Everybody that I've been running into and I have been talking to about money, the same thing occurs. Uh, they're either looking for a second job or looking for more job or they're in debt or they don't have enough money to survive. So it, it seems like this is uh, speeding up quite fast. Um, yeah, it, it seems like everybody's having money issues. Um, <laughs> and it's getting quite bad, I mean, uh, when is it going to come to a point where enough people are in debt or starving or just don't have enough money before we uh, realize what we're doing and what we've accepted and allowed to exist here as the money system. Um, I mean, when is it going to come to a point where we realize that we can change this? Where When is it going to come to a point where where the economy falls and everybody's in debt and And then, yeah, and then we realize what we've done, or what we're accepting and allowing, and what we've created the system as. So, an, an equal money system is the solution right now. It's going to stop people from going into this situation where they have to really strive to live and really push themselves. Um, yeah, the two jobs that I'm working at, they're both um, not meeting their sales expectations. So they're cutting hours quite immensely. Um, yeah, <laughs> there's a person who worked at the one job that I work at for seven years. He's full time and uh, that means he usually has like 37, 39 hours a week. Um, they had to cut his hours to 12 hours and then this week they cut his hours to no hours. So uh, I mean companies are only thinking about money. They're only thinking about their own survival, and it's it's a company's survival. They're, they're not uh, companies aren't in this to support humans. Um, so that's one thing that we definitely have to change. Uh, yeah, because all companies right now are all out of profit. They all want profit, and the every <laughs> worker that or every manager that I know cares about the survival of the company because again it's their survival and they don't take into consideration whether or not they have to cut the people they don't take into consideration the survival of the employees of the company because many managers are on a salary base so they don't get a hourly rate and they're stable so I, I don't know if that point doesn't occur to them that uh, the people who aren't managers are on an hourly rate and we need hours to make money so that we can buy food to live, pay rent, pay car payments, all that shit. But yeah, it seems that it's getting to a point of intensity 
where it's going to start becoming quite intense and I mean yeah because I mean in Egypt and uh, Libya and Yemen I mean that's that's a symbolization of what's going to happen all over the world it's going to slowly start spreading everywhere until we realize that protesting and uh, rioting isn't going to solve shit. We need to recreate the money system. <sighs> One that does not support the survival of companies, but that supports the survival of humanity, of humans. Um, that supports the survival of all life on this planet. And that is an equal money system. So that is something to definitely look into. There'll be a link in the description box. I suggest go to it, investigate it. Yeah. Realize that it's the solution. Um, yeah. And the second point is not staring in the mirror again. So I've been applying this quite... diligently throughout the day, throughout the past two days now, and uh, I realized that a lot of my existence has been based on imagery, uh, symbols of imagery, and uh, yeah, al almost everything is based on imagery, because that's all that we're seeing, we're seeing an image, and we believe ourselves to be a picture, and I'm slowly realizing that uh, I'm not this picture. Uh, <laughs> Just now, like I stared at myself in the webcam before it started, and I forgot how I looked, which is quite interesting. I mean, I have no care about my image. Um, I caught a glimpse of myself in the mirrors at work today, and I forgot that I had a beard. Uh, I, uh, yeah, I, I forgot that I <laughs> that I was previously defining myself as an image. Uh, it's quite cool to go through because I see that every judgment that I've had is all based on image. And I value image quite extensively. And so I've been valuing people based on their image. And so slowly stopping this, I realize that people are not an image. And it's actually easier to focus on myself as the physical because... The image isn't real. I'm not trying to create an image anymore. I'm not worrying uh, what I look like with a shaved head or if I have a beard or what clothes I wear or any kind of uh, symbolism that I am creating based on a representation of an image that I am creating. So I am finding this point awesome, simply. And it's all just from not staring at myself in the mirror. It's not waking up and defining myself as an image <laughs> through that day. And I've realized that in the mornings, I used to stare at myself in the mirror or catch a glimpse or stare at myself, stare at my eyes in the mirror and define myself right in that moment, positive or negative. And then throughout that day, I would become positive or negative. And then there's a lot of polarities that and uh, friction that would thus... Uh, create me throughout the day and now I am here creating myself which is quite cool <clears throat> um, yeah uh, judgment still exists because I'm still uh, every so often going into that image and staring at things and defining it as that image but slowly it's stopping because I am just phys physically feeling myself here uh, my feet on the ground, my hands holding something, uh, focusing on myself when I'm speaking, which is cool. <laughs> um, yeah, so I suggest trying this. Uh, yeah, because the realization that image actually isn't real, it's just a light symbolic representation of what is here. Uh, the image isn't real, the green isn't real, the color isn't real. Yeah, the entire image is not real. 
Uh, I mean, turn off the lights. Does the image still exist? <laughs> no. But, yeah, the thing still exists. So, I mean, it's quite obvious. And um, so what I do is that... Obviously, you can tell um, when you're staring at yourself. When you're staring at yourself in the mirror, you're obviously, like, kind of focused outwards onto that image of yourself. What I've been doing is that I've been just bringing myself back and focusing on my physical here. And it's quite nice. Uh, there's no definition of me. I mean, I, I don't care how I look because I've forgotten how I look because I don't look. I'm not an image. <laughs> so, yes, I, I suggest try this. It's quite cool. And, uh, yeah, thank you for watching.